Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure what time it is, but I know it's past my bedtime because I'm normally on the couch for now, as most of y'all know. Uh, let me get this on. Uh, although I probably won't have the time to answer a lot of questions, uh, but I will afterwards if I can stay up. Um, but I wanted to, I was going to do, um, the next heirloom collection, but I've had a couple of people ask me, they're not understanding how this is working. So I'm actually not going to do the next one. So I'm going to take this down and I'm going to walk through the complete process. But before I do that, I do want to show y'all something else. And I am going to be offering um, in my VIP group, which is Two Chatty Chicks Secrets. Uh, it's listed down below uh, somewhere in my page, not very far. You can ask to join. And I'll be running specials on the transfers over there and paste. And if there are transfers, I will put everything together, several different ones, and I'll be showing y'all, like if y'all want to start creating your own heirloom collections to change out in one frame throughout the year. And another thing that I'm going to be doing over my VIP group is this is one that we just finished. Okay. And I had one of the ladies contact me and ask me if I would put together the kit of this complete process. And I told her I'd be more than happy. And I thought, well, you know what? There might be others that might be wanting to do that. So if y'all are interested in uh, something like this, let me know and you will be getting everything that's in this kit. And I haven't figured out the pricing yet, but uh, I'll do that pretty pretty soon. But you have to be in the VIP group for me to do that. So, um, but first, I, some have asked me, they're getting confused about the Club Couture and joining Chalk Couture to be a designer. Um, the Club Couture, like this right here, this is a three-month commitment where you sign up off of, say, my page, my Chalk Couture uh, Two Chatty Chicks page, and um, it's for $19.99 a month, and you get a B-size transfer, and you get three of the paste. Okay, you get instructions, a how-to video, and once you sign up, you're also going to be able to get added perks. I don't know what those are, probably little sales and stuff that others won't be able to get. And it's $19.99 a month and free shipping. And whenever you join, um, you have an option of getting the Kickstart kit. And in that, you're going to get a small squeegee. And you're going to get the multi-purpose tool, which I, I absolutely love this. Uh, it's great for small areas, and you can work it both ways, here and there. And it's great for stirring the paste, because that's why they designed it that way. And you're also going to get a 3-ounce bright white chalk paste. And you're also going to get the gallery board, which is a 9 by 12 and then the uh, boutique board and base. And that is 69, um, 69, 69.99, that's why I thought it was. And that is a retail value of $76.94. But that's everything you're gonna need to be able to create your project every month whenever you get your kit, uh, get your uh, transfer. So I just kind of wanted to go over that um, because it, to be to join Chalk Couture and to become an independent designer, you would have to sign up and go through the whole process of uh, doing that from my website or another independent designer's website. So there is a difference. You're not really joining Chalk Couture. You're only joining the Club Couture to receive your transfer once a month. So I just kind of wanted to go over that right quick. And um, next is 
the board that I use that is behind this is one of these, and you can get them at uh, Home Depot. And what you can do is once you get your frame, you can measure it, and they will actually cut it for you. You don't have to cut it. They'll cut it for you. So that's really nice. And Chalk Couture does have the insert mats that you can use, but because these transfers are a little bit larger, um, I just went ahead and had one of the boards cut, and that's what I use to lay my fabric on to use my ink. Now, whenever I... I'm ready to lay my fabric onto the board. This is what I use. It's this spray, and it does not take much, and I usually don't have to spray it every time. Um, and your fabric, you can see, that's, that's pretty wrinkled, but once I lay that on there and put my hands and push it, it's just smooth, as they say, but smooth. <laughs> so, um, and this was going to be the one that I'm going to do next. And I'm actually going to add, um, this is from another transfer, and I'm going to add that up at the top. But I probably won't get to that tonight because they were just wanting me to explain how this works. So as you know, this is the one that I did for Christmas, okay? And so whenever I took it down, you can take it out. And what I like is you can take, you can fold it up, and then you can store this in a manila envelope. So all you're having to do is just change out the picture here. And then this was the one that I did at Valentine. Okay. And then I'm going to do several that I can change out throughout the whole year. And I like that because I'm not having to take this frame. I'm not having to store it. I can create something new for every birthday, holiday, uh, you know, a wedding, whatever. So I really like that idea. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know. I can't take that down, I guess. And as you can see, I just have these pushed in here to hold this board in okay and I don't I don't even have it down at the bottom so what I can do see I can just take and I push that right out okay now I'm going to take my frame I don't want anything to happen to my frame <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, this is the board that it's on. It's just like the board that I use uh, whenever I'm going to apply my um, transfer onto another piece of fabric. And you can see, see, that's all that is right there. So I'm going to lay this down. You know what, I'm going to move that one. And I'm going to show y'all. Let me turn this down so that you can see. And I know this isn't a big deal, but I know some ladies were just wanting to see. And I mean it, I mean that right that that is not much. I mean, I don't want that sticky all over the place. That's all you need. And then see, look how that just lays down. lays down so smooth there are no wrinkles in that at all see I really do like that and then I can just put this back in that frame and this one I did just a little bit different and see, it just comes right up. And as you can see, this is another piece of fabric under this one, okay? And the reason I did that is because this was pretty thin, and I didn't 
particularly care for it, but it was what I had on hand. And I just happened to glance over and I saw all these colors and they matched everything that I was going to use as far as the colors in the truck. So what I did is I just sprayed this fabric. Okay. And you can see that is pretty well stuck to that fabric. So I'm just going to See, there's enough on there that I can take and see how that just pushed all of that back out and it smoothed it out again. And I didn't even have to spray any more on it. I can come down and I can... But I just love that. I think that works so well. I need to turn that light around here because y'all can't really see this. Now that's better. No wonder. But that is how I am doing that collection. And then whenever I get ready, I will take and I will lay that down there. And then I will just put it back in my frame that is down here that I just took it out of. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put, and then whenever I'm not using this one, I'm just going to take it, I'm going to fold it up, and I'm going to store it in a manila envelope, and I don't have to worry about it. But see, there's still enough sticky on here that all I have to do is lay that back into place. And y'all, I didn't even iron any of this fabric because the sticky just takes it out. And voila, it is just stuck really good. Boy, I moved this whole setup while ago and it's not wanting to do like I normally do. And see, there's a thread right there. So I'm just gonna reach underneath there and pull that out. And then I'm going to pull this back up where y'all can see. All right. Hopefully I can get it back where it was. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And then my frame, you can see here. So what I did before I went to Home Depot is I just took and I measured from here to here and from the lip inside to here and I asked them to cut it for me and they were very nice and they did and then I had another one cut uh, pretty much the same size so that I could use it under my fabric to ink with and it really worked out great. So then whenever I'm ready I can just take and Slide that back up underneath there. Okay. It fits very nice. And I messed up this side, getting it in. Okay. See, it just goes in really nice. And that's all you have to do each time that you want to change out your heirloom collection. And it beats having to take all these frames down. And that way you've got something fresh and something new. And so, um, easy to change out. And they would really make nice gifts. And y'all, I know I can, can't seem to find my hook. There we go. All right. There we go. But that is how easy that is. And then I'm going to show y'all how it just takes all these wrinkles out whenever I get ready 
to do the next one. Like I said, I was going to do it tonight, but I had someone ask me if I would do this video showing how I did this. And then see how nice, leave that smoothed out. And then I can take my transfer And this one is new. I've not used it yet. And I can get it in place pretty much where I want. And then this, this saying is from another transfer. Get this down where you can see. Is this one. So I took, and I'm going to put farm sweet strawberries, and I'm probably going to put it about like that, and then I'm thinking about taking the strawberries once I've used it, and I have washed it, and it's ready to go again. I'm thinking about taking and laying it, the strawberries, around this away. I'm thinking about doing that. So, in fact, if I had another one, I might just cut those out. But I don't think I'm going to have to. I think I can pretty well take, once I do this, and lay those strawberries down. But we'll do that on my live whenever I get ready to do that. Oh, and I got to show y'all some of the paste. The new paste that we have. So cool. I am thrilled about it. They have come out with, because we had it in the ink. And they just came out with the uh, paste. Oh, I don't have it open. Well, we can remedy that. Because I have a pair of scissors right there. I can open it up right quick. Yes. And this is copper. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's paste, y'all. That's not ink. So, and then we have um, shimmering gold. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. And then we have um, the shimmering silver as well. Those are just gorgeous. So we've got all three of these that are new. So I'm going to have to order some more of these because I think they're going to be very popular. So anyway, that is what I wanted to talk to you all about tonight. Um, because I had a, uh, two ladies specifically had asked me how I was doing that. And uh, because they didn't quite understand. So... Um, I appreciate that, and I do appreciate y'all stopping in and watching, and um, y'all have a blessed evening. I am fixing to go and take me some medicine and lay on the couch. So I do appreciate y'all, and y'all have a good evening. I'll talk to y'all later. And if you have any questions, just ask. Be more than happy to answer, and if you need anything, let me know, and be sure and jump over. And um, also, again, don't forget, I'm going to be offering kits for these, but you have to be in my VIP group. So I'll see y'all there. Bye, y'all.